So today I'm going to do a quick review and tutorial on how to use Joist invoicing software. This is a tool that I use every day in the management of my six figure handyman business. So what is Joist? It's a web-based invoicing and estimating software. It says it's for contractors, but I think it's actually appropriate for almost any small service business where you need to prepare uh, an estimate or an invoice. Um, I will put a referral link below if you want to check out the software for yourself and decide if it's right for you and your business after you watch this brief tutorial. So this is the main page for Joist. As you can see up here, there's the login if you're already signed up or if you're new, just click on get started. You'll sign up using just your email address and make a password in that and then um, you can go right in and start looking around and they give you a 14 day free trial to check it out um, and see if you want to use it. Here is the main page you'll get to once you log in. Um, over here, you can see all the options, estimates, and invoices being at the top here. And this is your client list. So you can preload client information or you can add it as you go along. So if you want to create a new estimate, you'll go to the top right and click on new estimate. It will open up this form where your business information will automatically be put in right here. On this side, you'll add your client information. You can fill it out right then, or you can click on this to get to your client list and then select who you want to put there and click save. It will generate an estimate number for you. It will put today's date in automatically, and then you will start to add items that you want to uh, put as an estimate. So if you're doing a handyman service, Let's just say you were doing $200 worth, and then here you would write down what it is that you are planning to do. And if you want to add an additional item, you can add a line item here and say garage door service and describe it a bit there. So here you have two items loaded into your estimate and they have been added up to here at the bottom. You can add a markup, you can add a discount, you can request a deposit, um, all from here, you can also decide whether or not you want to accept online payments. So if you want to allow your customer to pay with a payment card at your expense, then you would toggle this on. I don't usually do that because I don't like to pay fees. This is expensive, especially if your, your estimates are up around like in the thousands, you'll be paying hundreds um, just to facilitate the transaction on a card. So I toggle this off. Um, and I would say that most of our clients pay by check or cash. If they specifically ask to pay by credit card, then I can always go back and toggle this on and then it will allow them to go back to their estimate and be able to pay by credit card then. Um, sometimes we, depending on how much the total is, we may decide to have that discussion with the customer about them absorbing the credit card fee. So you'd click save once you have that all ready to go and ready to send to the client. And this is what they will see. So estimate and your logo um, and your company information here, your company tax number and stuff here. And then the um, client's name there. There's the tasks that we uh, estimated and so on. So for invoices, same thing. You'll go over to invoices. You'll either say create new or you can go up to the top right again and click new invoice and it will give you a very similar looking form, exactly the same actually. And you'll again add the information or let's say Jane Doe accepted our estimate. We can simply um, mark it as approved. And then when we refresh that, it will have moved from pending to the approved tab and then you'll see Jane Doe's um, approved estimates here. And if we go to that, we can then generate an invoice from there. And so that approved estimate has now just turned into an invoice for Jane Doe. And we can um, either email that to her by clicking email, um, or if we don't have an email address for the client, then from the mobile app, you can go in and uh, send the invoice via a um, text link. So you will text a link to your client and when they click the link, this is what they will see as their invoice. From there, um, if you've toggled on online payments, they'll be able to pay over the phone. Um, or if you've toggled it off, then you can um, discuss how you're going to be paid. 
Now, you don't have to create an estimate first in order to do the invoice. You can just simply, you know, if the client didn't require an estimate in the first place, then you would just say new invoice, add the information, add the items that you did, they get a total, and then you would save it. Then from there, you can send it to the client either, again, from your phone or via email. So over here in payments, it shows you Joist payments, which is basically Joist collaborating with PayPal to accept credit card transactions for your business. And so your business would open up a PayPal account. And then as people paid through Joist, Joist would have the money sent to your PayPal account. And then you'd get charged uh, those fees I was talking about earlier. So say you received a check or you received cash or some other form of payment outside of Joyce payments, you would go to your invoices that you issued to your client and then you would click on payments and record the payment. And then you would click on full because they made the full payment. This is the date they made the payment. They paid by check and their check number was 103 and you add. Now what they'll see when they look at their invoice again, they're gonna see the payment has been entered and their balance has been zeroed out. So if you go to settings and then my company, this is where you'll enter all your company's information that you want to show up on the invoice and estimates and you can upload your sample logo. Now Joyce does limit who can upload their logo to how much you're paying. Um, so if you are on the lowest tier subscription, they don't let you upload a company photo. You have to be in the pro, which is like the middle tier subscription in order to be allowed to do that. And the other feature that they shuffle, shuffle into a pro subscription is the ability to attach photos to your estimates or to your invoices. So if that's something that's really important to your business, then you'll have to at least sign up for the pro account. So if we go to the reports tab here on the left side, here's sort of a little sample, a little teaser that they give you of the type of reports that they can generate for you, but only if you're in the elite subscription, which is the top tier subscription. Let's look at the pricing that they have right now. Two months free. Okay, yeah, you do save a little bit of money if you pay the full year up front. Um, but let's look at the monthly pricing first. So for the basics, um, it's $8 a month. For the pro, which is the most popular, that's the one that we subscribe to right now, is $14 a month. $8 a month and you only get five documents per month. Okay, yeah, so if you need more than five documents, you're definitely stuck paying $14 a month. This used to be free, by the way, when I signed up. This, this basic one was free and you weren't limited to five documents a month. So I just opted for the free one for the first couple of years. Um, and then the elite, that's the one where it generates all the business reports that I was talking about. Um, $32 a month. Looks like you can add change orders and do have some advanced line item organization. I don't even know what that looks like because I've never used it before because I'm not paying $32 a month for that um, because I can generate business reports in my online business banking and see all of those numbers over there. So there's no need to pay for that. And annually, $80 a year for the basics, $140 a year for the mid-tier pro, and $320 a year for the elite. Now, if I was going to pay $320 a year, I'd probably be looking for something more comprehensive than Joyce. I'd probably be looking at like a service titan or um, a jobber or one of those guys um, that lets you do more things like job costing and stuff. It's just more comprehensive and more expensive than our business needs, and so we just don't go for that. But Joyce has worked well for us in conjunction with our online business bank. By the way, if you're wondering about online business banks, I'm going to post uh, another video that talks about the different banks that we've done business with and the tools that they have that are integrated into the banking transaction. And uh, they're very, very helpful, so you should definitely check it out. By the way, I just wanted to point out one thing down here. Joyce has processed uh, over $85 billion worth of transactions. That's $3 billion in transaction fees. I do anything 
that I can to avoid transaction fees, okay? Because it can mean significant money for your business. And so you should always be mindful of just how much is going out the door for no reason in a transaction fee when a check is free and cash is free. One last thing I wanted to also point out is this is kind of a new feature that I noticed in Joyce, collecting Google reviews. If your business um, relies on your good Google reviews, then Joyce can be set up to automatically engage with the customer and ask them for their review um, after the service is done. So that's my review of Joyce. Overall, I do find it helpful. I don't love subscriptions, but this is one that my business um, does spring for and it keeps us very organized and tracks any um, invoices so none of them get lost. We don't lose track of people who haven't paid us yet. Overall, I would say it is a, a good product and a useful product for a small business. So um, again, I posted the link below. And if you're looking for more information on starting a small business or you're thinking about starting a small business, then check out some of my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free. You just hit subscribe and it really helps my channel to reach more new entrepreneurs. Thanks for watching.